Hey guys, this is Thomas from Nurse Money Talk. And I know this feeling, the feeling of you just um, you just took boards, you know, you just took the NCLEX and you have to wait several days or whatever to find like your, you know, to find out if you passed or failed. And it almost seems like your life is kind of on hold until then, or at least that was my feeling then it's like I can't really do anything. I can't really plan because everything changes, you know, based on what that answer is. And so in this video, I want to show, you know, kind of talk about five good, I mean, if you want to call them signs, you know, tricks, hacks or whatever that will kind of give you an idea of whether or not you actually past the NCLEX after taking it. Before I get to that though, um, I want to go ahead and invite you to, don't forget to hit that thumbs up uh, button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And if you're listening to this on podcast, don't forget to subscribe. And also we would appreciate it if you would give us a positive rating on, you know, iTunes, you know, Stitcher, Spotify, whatever podcasting platform um, that you're using the, that you're using to listen to this. Let's go ahead and get started. And um, I, I want to throw like kind of like a one, um, like a quick disclaimer before, you know, we get started with this, you know, and that's that, you know, there's really only one 100% surefire way to know for sure that you passed or did not pass the NCLEX. And that is waiting until the official, the official results are, are sent to you. You know, some of these, you know, they've been talked about, you know, here and there. And, you know, some people swear by, you know, a couple of these tricks that I'm, you know, that, I'm, that we're about to talk about. And, you know, but, but at the same time, you can also hear stories of how it didn't you know, it, it wasn't 100% accurate, but I do think they can give you a good idea. Um, you know, and I, you know, so, so, but just kind of keep in mind though, that, um, nothing is a hundred percent set, uh, or for sure until you get your official results. But with that said, let's go ahead and actually get started with the the first good sign that you probably passed the NCLEX. And that's like, if the questions were getting progressively really difficult, and then like, you know, you got the most difficult question, you know, in the entire exam, if you will, and then it shuts off after you answered that question. And the reason why, you know, I, I say this is probably like a pretty good sign is that if you think about how the NCLEX is scored, and that's, you know, it's computer adaptive test. And so as you keep answering questions, if you keep answering it correct, like you progressively keep getting harder, um, harder questions, right? Or, and then the reverse is also the case, you know, if you keep answering questions and you keep answering the questions wrong, you get progressively easier questions. So, you know, that continues until the computer, if you will, can accurately determine that if it keeps asking you questions that you would remain above that confidence line. And I went through this in more details um, in another video, which I'll link here above. But the point being that that then it would it would make sense then, or at least in my head, that you know, if you progressively keep getting harder and harder questions and then all of a sudden it shuts off, then that's probably a, a pretty good sign. You know, the, the reverse could be the case, you know, that if you were getting progressively easier questions and then it shuts off, then I guess that could be, you know, like a sign that you didn't pass. But, you know, but, but the, the thing with this as well is that you kind of have to look at what is a difficult question a different way. And here's an example, because if I go by this one tip or whatever, you know, this one hack, and if I look at what I thought after I took the NCLEX PN, because I've taken both the NCLEX PN and the NCLEX RN. And, um, you know, if I think about it, the way I took the NCLEX PN, like I would have thought that, um, that I actually failed the NCLEX PN because I thought I got the easiest question I've gotten so far. And then like it just shut off. And then if you look at the, when I took the NCLEX RN, um, 
And in that one, I remember the last question being that it was the most, I thought it was probably one of the most difficult questions I had received so far on that exam. And then, you know, then it shut off. But so what am I saying with these two scenarios? It is that, um, you know, in the NCLEX PN, going by this tip, it would have made it seem like I failed when I actually passed. And then, but it would have been correct for the NCLEX RN. In both scenarios, I actually, you know, I passed both of them in the first time. But the, the, the reason, the other reason why I actually bring this up is that um, when you're analyzing what's an easy and what's a an hard question, you always kind of have to remember, kind of generally speaking, because I think like as we study, we kind of have like different strong suits, right? So, you know, maybe you know, like, uh, OB or women's health topic very, very well, but, you know, maybe you don't know, um, you know, pediatric stuff very well or, or, or vice versa. And so you kind of have to look at it. What's the most complicated question? If you're going to try to analyze like your test based on, based on this, this little hack. The second good sign is receiving that you pass if you order the Pearson views quick results. So the thing with that is that depending on where you live, you, you know, after taking the exam, I think it's like two days afterwards, you'll get an option to buy um, a quick results from Pearson Views website. I think in most states and in most U.S. territories, um, you know, you, you get this option. Um, I think it was, what is it? It's, I think it was about eight bucks or something like that to order this. And then, you know, you can find like the quote unquote unofficial score. I kind of have a little bit of mixed feelings when it comes to this route, which is one, it almost feels like, you know, I already paid for the exam, which wasn't cheap. And so if the scores are kind of available already, why am I paying again for you to give me the results? Just give me what the results are. So that's, to me, that's a little frustrating, but, and then, but the other thing as, as well is that by the time you're getting to what, I think it's about two days before you can order the, the quick results or so, by the time you're getting to that point, some of you might actually be able to find out um, what the test result is without actually um, getting this, uh, without actually getting the quick results. So, it, you know, like I said, I have mixed feelings on it, but it is a, it is something that's, a, that's available to, that will be available to most of you. So that's probably something to keep in mind. The third hack or the third good sign that you probably pass is, you know, doing like what people have been calling the Pearson view trick, which is essentially you try to rebook or repay for another exam after, um, after you take yours. And I think you have to wait, I think it's about two hours or so. And then after that, then try to retake it, or uh, try to rebook a test. And, um, and then if you passed, it won't let you rebook the exam, but if you didn't pass, then it'll let you rebook the exam. I'll put a link to a video um, below that kind of that I think is really good and it, and goes into a lot more of a step by step detail, if you will, on how to on how that should look like and how to actually you know carry out that 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 trick if, or that hack, if you will. The, there's something to keep in mind at this, and this was just kind of like when I was double checking this, is that one, like, like my original disclaimer, it's not 100% accurate. There is, um, you know, a lot of people swear that, it, that it's pretty accurate. So whatever, you know, confidence that gives you in it. And I think I did see some situations where people passed, but then they were um, charged um, charged again anyway. And I don't think, um, the national, um, uh, at Pearson view or the NCSBN gives a refund for that. So they might've lost, however, you know, whatever the hundred couple hundred dollars that, that they were charged for that. So, you know, that, so there is kind of a risk to that. So I would probably kind of, um, keep that in mind as well that, you know, I think this is like the one, um, the one hack that I'll mention that I think is is probably one of the most popular one um, and that you might even have heard of this yourself. And so it's, it's a commonly used practice amongst nursing students. 
um, after they take the exam. So number four is is and this one's looking at how good you feel going into the exam and this one really just involves you just being honest um, to yourself and how well you've been studying and how well you feel like you know the material um, and I think that's I honestly think this is probably a pretty good gauge because even if you look at the statistics I think for the NCLEX PN and the NCLEX R, and I think about 82 to 85% of nursing students are actually going to, to pass this exam. So, so the vast majority are going to pass. You know, as far as I'm concerned, like if you feel like you studied hard, you know, you took a good NCLEX prep course, paced yourself, you know, got a good night's sleep um, before the exam, your chances are probably, you know, pretty good. Once again, not 100%. I mean, you could you know, theoretically feel good about it and still fail. Um, but I think you know, if you're looking at an you know, 82 to I think 85%, something around there, um, that's, you know, that's probably looking pretty good on your favor. In your favor, I mean. The last one, number five, and that's if you got a passing on an NCLEX predictor. And I think this is probably a pretty good sign that um, that you're gonna do well on the NCLEX. And if you're wondering what I mean by an NCLEX predictor, and that's like, you know, a lot of, you know, you know, several of like the major NCLEX, you know, prep courses out there um, have like, you know, what they would call like an NCLEX predictor exam. They call it different things, but the, the end result is that it's, you know, it's an exam that you take that's supposed to simulate, if you will, the NCLEX or at least predict the likelihood that you're going to, um, you're going to pass. And so whatever, you know, their passing score is, if you did, if you did pretty good on it, then that's probably a pretty good sign that you're going to do well on the actual NCLEX itself. And one of the reasons why I bring this one up is that for a lot of these, uh, for a lot of these courses, including the one that I typically recommend, and I'll put a link to that in the description below, um, they base like kind of like their guarantee um, or their refund or whatever on um, you passing um, their NCLEX predictor. Um, exam and so you know of course you you have to you know study and do some of the other stuff that they want you to do to prepare to do well for that for that predictor exam but um, you know but because they base their guarantee off of it typically then it makes sense to me that they've already done a lot of the legwork a lot of the, the research behind it to show that if you do what they want you to do and you know then you follow through and you do well on their predictor that you'll probably end up doing well on the NCLEX especially if they put their money behind it and companies are typically not in the business of losing money if you're watching this and if you if you haven't already taken um you know an NCLEX prep course or or something like that then I probably would recommend that you do um, you can find the one that I typically recommend in the description below or you can go to nursemoneytalk.com forward slash NCLEX and you see it over there. Um, but yeah, you know, like I said, the only sure 500% way you know for sure you pass is by getting the that official, um, you know, results um, mailed out to you. I, I do think that these five hacks that I mentioned, I do think that they can be pretty good at being able to to give you the answer that you want but it, it kind of is what it is in, in situations like this but yeah so that is all i actually have for for this current uh, video let me know if you have any questions about anything that i mentioned um like i said the links to that article or you know to that NCLEX prep course will be in the description below. Let me know if you have any questions at all. Thanks so much for watching this and I'll catch you very soon in that next video.